Hello friends and welcome to Simply Clouded. Today, we will learn how to set up AWS CLI to work with Jenkins, which means we will learn how to authenticate our Jenkins pipeline so that we can run simple AWS CLI commands through our Jenkins job. In the last class, we learned how to create a simple pipeline using shell script. We'll use shell script, but this time we will first install AWS CLI on our container. So first we will go to our server and we will pick up the container ID. Notice that the container ID Jenkins process is up and running. It's been up and running for nine minutes. And now I will log into this container as root. The command to log into your container as root is docker exec id u root the container id and the shell we're going to use which in this case is bin bash notice that i'm inside the docker container and if i check that the file systems are all jenkins related first i will check with a simple command if the aws cli service is already installed or not no it is not there so i will use the standard Oracle documentation to install and run AWS CLI. So the simple command is I will be leaving this document in the description for you to be able to install CLI at your end. I'm going to pause the video and wait until the CLI is installed. AWS CLI has now been installed inside my Docker container. It has not been installed on the host system, but the container itself. So if I run AWS hyphen hyphen version, I'll be able to verify the installation of AWS CLI. In this case, it is AWS CLI 2. Now, the next step is for me to generate credentials because if I try to navigate to my AWS account, I will not be able to because it does not have any valid IAM credentials to go with. It asks me to run an AWS configure command, but for that I need credentials, which is the API access keys. I navigate to my simply clouded AWS account, go to my IAM trainer user, go to security credentials. I will generate a fresh pair of access key for this demo purpose. If I create an access key, it generates two values. One is the access key ID, and the second is a secret access key. I'll be needing both these values to authenticate my Docker AWS CLI. I will navigate to my Docker container and I will run AWS configure. It is going to ask me for a region. I have created an S3 bucket in US East 2. This bucket has solely been created for demo purpose. So the, the region I'll pass here is US East 2. The first thing that I pass is the access key. I will copy the access key. I will also copy the secret key. And now I pass the region, the same region, which is my default region. Notice that this region can, can be changed later using the credentials file that is generated as part of this process. Right now, I'm going with default region as Ohio, which is US East 2. I will leave that as none, enter. And the simplest way of confirming is to run an AWS S3 LS command and this time it should be able to list my S3 bucket. Now this is a proof that my Jenkins container is now authenticated with my AWS account. There's another way to access my AWS using Jenkins pipeline. So now we'll create our first pipeline, our first Jenkins job to run the same shell command and see if my Jenkins pipeline is able to reach my AWS resources or not. 
This authentication will later help us to run complicated enterprise level provisioning jobs or CloudFormation stacks using Jenkins. As always, we'll run a freestyle project list S3 bucket. We'll click on OK. We'll use the Linux shebang to start our shell command. We'll add a build step to execute shell pin bash. We'll do an echo just for beautifying purposes. The S3 bucket in the account is and we'll do an AWS S3 LS. We'll save this job. We'll go to the project and we'll do a build now. And we'll wait for the build to be completed. Once the build has been registered, we can go to the console output and it has failed. Let us check why it has failed. I was able to locate the cause of the issue, which helps us in a troubleshooting as well. The only cause of the issue was that my user, which is able to install AWS CLI was not able to authenticate because the job is run using the Jenkins user. So we'll run the same AWS configure command using the Jenkins user. I will use the same set of credentials, but this time I will do it using Jenkins user. If I'm able to list using Jenkins user, then I will be able to do the same using my Jenkins job. Now let's go back to our Jenkins and try running the same job again. If I submit a build, this time using the Jenkins user, and if I go to the console output, I'm able to list that bucket. We did run into a small issue during the configuration of this particular pipeline, but it helped us to learn how to get over certain issues. So during the demo, let me summarize the steps for you. You install AWS CLI service on your Docker container. You navigate to Jenkins user, you run an AWS configure, you authenticate your AWS using the Jenkins user so that while using the pipelines, you can connect to your AWS using those Jenkins built jobs. Thank you for your time, guys. Keep tuned in for more such tutorials on Simply Clouded. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, Please hit the bell icon at the bottom.